what is up everybody it's Joshua and I'm back with another video and tonight if you can't tell where I'm at by all the Christmas lights and all the houses around we are here at give kids the world village once again but we are here for a media preview of night of a million lights now I was here last year thoroughly enjoyed it when they asked me to come back I could not say no at all it is just such a beautiful view all the way around I wanted to make sure I brought y'all along with me. I actually have somebody filming some uh, secret like cinematography stuff for a TikTok maybe, I don't know. But we're gonna try a bunch of different stuff. I'm ready to just have fun, look at all the lights. If you guys are ready to go on this holly jolly. Wow, that's, man, normally it's been like terrifying, but holly jolly journey with me. Well, let's go. Here to welcome you all this evening. Wow, what a great crowd. Thank you so much. For those of you who I don't know, my name is Pamela Landworth. I'm the president and CEO of Give Kids the World, and we are so excited to see you tonight. You know, Christmas is my very favorite time of year, and there's probably no place on earth I'd rather be than here at the village. So marrying the two of them and get to share it with you is just like a dream come true. So thank you so much. We're glad you're here to help us celebrate what we're calling Night of a Million Lights 2 um, because it's going to be a little different and you're going to see some things that are different this year. First and foremost, we're so excited because, of course, last year we were in the throes of the pandemic and the biggest worry was having everybody to keep their mask on. That was our biggest challenge for 52 Nights was reminding people to keep their mask on and we didn't have any families here. But this year we've got, oh my goodness, close to 50 families here on property with us and it's... Woo! That's what we do, and that's why we're, we're so anxious to get back to, is to see those numbers keep, keep growing and serving more and more families. So what you're going to see is different as last year, of course, for those who are here, you were able to walk and stroll through the entire village. This year, it's even more spectacular than last year. As you look around, we've got this section of the village, which wasn't decorated last year. In a few minutes, you're going to see it do some amazing things. And then after you experience this, and we've got some great desserts for you, you can go through our marketplace and have some more food and look at the great merchandise we have. And then hop on a train, a tram ride and go through the rest of the village that's equally decorated. So, got a great evening planned for you. We are so excited. I have to tell you, this group, so last year when we did our first Night of a Million Lights, we were sitting around like a few weeks before and going, wouldn't it be really cool if maybe 10 to 15,000 people actually came and experienced the lights over the 52 nights? And you guys, last year, because of embracing it and blogging about it and writing about it and tweeting about it and Instagramming about it and all those incredible things that you do as influencers, because of you, we welcome 90,400 people. What you did after you left here last year by promoting it and talking about it, it was amazing. The other thing you did is we couldn't possibly do that without volunteers. Absolutely amazing. We have so many volunteers. We have to have 100, roughly 150 volunteers every night. So thank you guys for being out here. We've got a great night. We've got some wonderful families, and I'm so excited to bring up to this stage Kristen and Kaysen Parsons, who were here just a few years ago on their wish trip. And we're so enamored with the village, they decided to move here all the way from Colorado. So I'm going to have Kristen come up and Kaysen and share a little bit of your story. So we just fell in love with the village. We came here in October of 2018. After facing so many uncertainties and scary moments as a family with Kaysen, it was great just to have a moment to take a breather and really just be a family, not have to worry about doctors, not have to worry about hearing another scary diagnosis, not having to worry about another surgery. And so being here was great. Um, Kazen has Vactoral Association, which basically just means he got the short end of the stick and what could go wrong went wrong. And he's had countless of surgeries. He died on us 18 times, came back to us. So he's truly a miracle and getting to come here made it all worthwhile like all of the struggles all the heartache all the tears went away when you walk into this village and so thank you guys for coming out and spreading the word for this amazing place looking at all these beautiful lights so thank you guys 
I need some help, right? Because we promised this group a light show, didn't we? We promised that we were going to make this village come to life, right? You want to help me? I see a magic button over there that's going to help do it. You want to take a stroll over there and let's see what we can do. I bet you, I bet you that you can make some magic with me, right? But it's you're the one that's going to have on the magic. So right there, here's the button, right here, okay? And we're going to help to have the crowd help us count backwards from three, okay? And when we get to one, I want you to push the button and let's see what happens. Are we ready? You guys ready to help us count? Help Casey count? Okay. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, look what you did. It was a magical place on a magical night at the time of the year for fantastical light. The stars were aglow, keeping watch far and near for a village of dreamers full of holiday Alrighty guys, it is time to meet Santa Claus. Let's go do this. No, you know, pauses, and then you start getting nervous. That makes Santa inquisitive. So, why don't we start? <laughs> have you been good this year? Yes, I have. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> would you like some photos? Yeah, sure. Okay. How would you like to do it? We can do it in individual, we can do it in a group after we're done. What? What's wrong with me? Uh, you're lost cause. Well, yeah, thank you. Some, you know, you need the bad examples. For good examples can be. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm pushed to the back burner. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. Take care. Have a great evening. Alrighty, guys. So we have this lovely chicken sandwich from Boston Market. It looks amazing. <laughs> you got mac and, <laughs> mac and cheese. We got mac and cheese, another chicken sandwich, and a chicken pot pie. Okay. It's the pottiest of pies. Oh, Look geez. at that. That's a big pot pie. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. <laughs> <is big. laughs> wow. Oh man, thank you Boston Market. Now I get to enjoy my food tonight. Alrighty, so over here at this very, very pretty booth, you can get yourself an Icy. We got us a few. The one we got was called the Elf, and it is a cherry lime mix. It's amazing, really good. So this is offered Boston Market food is offered as well. And then there is a dessert <laughs> bar over by the pool, I believe. We haven't checked that out yet, so there's a lot to offer here. going to definitely be playing Haunted Kid Reviewer here at Water Guns, all right? I think we can do it. I think we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Journey with Josh is gonna win. Team the Haunted Kid. No, all right. Here we go. So I won the first one. You didn't win any. Haley won one. So Woo! technically, Journey with Josh won. Mm. Yeah, Ryan, what were you doing? Haley, Haley won. So what do you gotta say? Yeah, what, what do you gotta, what do you gotta say? say? You were just talking so much. Josh is the winner, and he's the best. Follow his channel. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, no, last, we middle. Play for yeah. tag. We should have played for a tag, tag, but it's okay. Hey, I will still put you in. All right, uh, wherever yeah. you went. There you go. Yeah. Guys, make sure to follow them. I'll put all their the links kids. in the in, in Go the Jolly, below. but just the Haunted Kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll put all their links and stuff in the description uh -huh. below. Make sure you check them out. You know, we got some stuff coming up. I think so we're the only ones still here. No, we're not. <laughs> there's, there's other people here. We're just the loudest ones. Uh, we're just the know, loudest ones. It's okay. I don't think okay. there's But I think that's going to do it for us here at <sighs> Give Kids a World. You guys enjoyed your first time here, right? I loved we it. We loved it. Was great. it. Yeah. Yes, please come. Definitely, definitely something different. Yes. Yeah. I hope you guys right. get it. Yes, we absolutely. Did. Absolutely, we loved it. Alrighty. Have a good night, bud. Bye. Guys, we found the dessert bar. It's literally on the playground. 
They set up all these pretty tables and everything, and they gave us a whole dessert bar. Josh is literally about to get in trouble. This is crazy. The warmest of tidings we wish on this night, and may all of your seasons be covered in light. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it from us here at Give Kids the World Village for their second annual night of a million lights. I thoroughly enjoyed it once again. Unfortunately, Riley could not be here, but I hope to be able to bring her back. It was so much fun. I have no complaints. Now there is a lot that's different compared to last year. Um, there is now a train that you ride around like the actual hub area and the actual front side of the village due to the fact that there are families here, finally. There are families that are able to stay here. That is really good, but that means you cannot walk around like the carousel area, the actual hub inside the courthouse, inside the tree with all the stars of the children. But other than that, it was great. I mean, they put lights up everywhere this year. There's no dead space whatsoever. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys can put this on your list. I hope you guys can make it out this year. I'll put all the links in the description below for Give Kids the World website, ticket information, stuff like that because you guys need to make it a trip. It's it's phenomenal. They have all different sorts of foods and treats as well. So come hungry, come with your sweet tooth and just wow. Like I thoroughly enjoy this. This is such a good event to cover and a great event to, you know, give all your love to and give all your support to because it goes back to a good cause. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, I'll see you on the next journey. Peace.